Hello YouTube, what's up? It's Jackintosh7 and um, in my last video I showed you how to make the app icon um, for your app but today I'll be showing you guys how to make the launch images so when you first start your app up it, this is what shows what it shows so what um, what I'm gonna do is what we're, go what we're going to do is open up Photoshop or any other image editing program and we're gonna go to new and make sure that the width is 320 pixels and the height is 480 pixels and then hit OK so we're gonna hit OK and then you should get this and what we're going to do is you're probably gonna want to add a background so you can either add like use the paint bucket tool and add it like green that's kind of boring or you can add a gradient so I'm gonna add a gradient like that as you can see this one before I had that um, but yeah so I'll probably want to save this one I'll use this so looks pretty good I think so what I'm going to do now is we're going to add some text you can also add some images depending on what your app does so what I'm going to do is change the color of the text to white and I'm going to make it smaller because that's very big um so we're going to change it to 24 and I'm going to name it because my app is going to be check list like that and it's I like the writing. I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger. I like the font of it, though. Um, 36. Checklist. And then you can put your name, too. Uh, I'll put my name in, I guess. Um, so. This isn't my actual name, but. I'll just put my YouTube name in. Jackintosh7. So you can put your name in like that. And then don't forget, you can also uh, add an icon or anything else. So we can add a custom image. So since I'm going to add a uh, check mark um, like this. So there we go. Because it's a checklist app. And we're going to add it like that. And you might want to make this a little bit bigger, but it's your preference. And that's really basically it. It's very, very simple. Um, you can then you can go for you can go rarely far from here you can do whatever you want make it completely customizable um but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to be showing you guys the basic of it um so i'll keep that like this and then i will get rid of my name so i don't want it there oops i'll just delete the layer there we go um uh, maybe and then you can always change the color of the shape um but this is just for the tutorial i will leave it so what i'm going to do is you're going to go to file and save as and remember this has to be a png file so it's going to be tutorial launch probably spelt wrong but it's lunch but i'm a terrible speller just i'm terrible um so what we're going to do is we're going to make it a png file it has to be png and hit save Alright, so now what we're going to do is hit OK, and it's going to save it. Now what you're going to want to do is open up Xcode, and um, we are going to want to select our launch image by right-clicking, and hit Select File, and then we're going to hit Tutorial Launcher, wherever you saved it. So choose it, and then, uh, oopsie. Uh-oh. Continue. Alright. That just was a stupid little thing, but it worked. So here we go. And as you can see, we have it here. And now we're going to work on the retina display one. So I will have all of the images in the description. I mean, the sizes. So here's the retina. Of course, it's spelled wrong. The regular one. So 640 by 960 is the retina display one. So we'll do that in a minute. And I'll also put the iPad one in. What is this? launch image. Oh, is this is the iPad. I have to change the iPad one. Um, the iPad one also has to be a custom one. has to be changed around. has to be different size. So you can always uh, test it to see how it looks. To see when you start it up um, how it looks. But it probably won't work for me because I didn't I don't have anything. It's basically just a plain app. You know, it doesn't really do anything. So as you can see, we have my little icon and there we go, we have checklist. So we have the icon, which is cool because 
for those of you who didn't see it because I didn't show you because I didn't save it and then checklist pops up real quick but since there's nothing to load it just pops up and disappears so what in later tutorials I'll be showing you guys what to add there to make it boot longer and all that so now we're gonna work on the retina display for the uh, for the iPhone so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file new again and we're going to go to um, custom and make sure we have to change the pixels now so the width is gonna be 640 and the height is going to be 960 make sure you keep everything else the same and hit OK. As you can see it's fairly larger and I'm gonna keep the same color and style as everything else. Maybe move, make it bigger, make everything bigger. And I'm going to, um, yeah, so I'm gonna make it check, check, list, like that. That looks good to me. I'm gonna save it like that. You can put your name in, you can add the shape, I'm going to add a check mark, um, line edges, I'm going to turn that off, I don't know what it does, but we're going to find out. Um, might want to change the, the lining, but that looks okay. And the stroke and the shape. So that looks okay to me, and that looks fine. So, that looks fine for now, and you can always make this bigger. Um, but this is just for a tutorial. So now we're going to go to file, save as, and it's basically the same. So we're just going to name it United, Untitled, and we're going to save it as a PNG and hit save. Now what we're going to do is hit OK and open up Xcode. Um, now this one's for the retina display. So hit select and find where you found, oh, saved it. So it's right here, and there we go. This is where we saved it. So we're going to hit run. Build succeeded and should pop up soon. So, checklist, and there it is. So, that's really it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and I'll be having a lot more coming out soon for you. So, um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, watch my other videos. I'm posting a lot of videos today. So, um, yeah, so I'll. I'll put the, uh, that's it guys, thanks for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe, I'll have everything in the description, the iPad one is going to be exactly the same, just different sizes, so the size will be this, I'll put the size in the description and all that stuff, so thanks for watching guys, and uh, see you next time.